Hello, YouTube world. A few of you asked me if I could do a video showing how to load a full-size ATV into a Honda Ridgeline, or this would work for any pickup for that matter. Um, and I will say this, uh, if you've got a smaller mid-size ATV, no problem at all. Uh, if you've got a big one like this, it's not for the faint of heart. If you're an experienced rider and you've got no problem with hill climbs and whatnot, then an approach like that's not a big deal. Uh, there's a lot of different ramps you can buy. Those are actually Harbor Freight ramps right there. And my only beef with these, and I did want to, I wanted a trifold ramp set up like this, but they're only 44 inches wide. And they really could be at least two inches wider. You're hanging over a little bit, so you've got to really be lined up perfectly before you go up these ramps. Uh, and whether you buy these or whether you have single ramps, some of the single ramps are longer and they're arched and make it a little bit easier to get in and out. Uh, use common sense and use safety first and make sure that you are chained off. Um, the chains that come with these are a little too long, so I had to cut them so that they're tight, but you do not want your ramps slipping out while you're trying to load your ATV. You could hurt yourself, you could hurt your vehicle, you could hurt your ATV. So again, safety first. Uh, the other thing too is on a Ridgeline, the bed is fairly shallow this way. And when you drive a full-size ATV up into the bed and you've got to pull it all the way forward, you can break out your rear windshield. So in a prior video, I think I held up a little piece of plywood. You need something there as a bash guard. In my case, I actually have a piece of three quarter inch plywood and I've got a, a stretcher that runs across and I actually dadoed it out with a, uh, with a uh, circular saw just so that it slips down behind the two front lower uh, tie downs. And the ridge line's got a lower set and upper set, both front and back. And this actually just kind of drops in behind them and it keeps it from sliding from side to side. I've also got uh, a horizontal rail there that'll keep it from riding up uh, because the upper rail of the, uh, of the bed has got a little protrusion and that just keeps it uh, you know, safe and sound. I don't know if it would really ride around and try and jump around, but I figured better safe than sorry. My smaller ATVs, I don't really need to do this with. I can pull them up in here. I can tie them down with ratchet straps um, front and back, and they're far from the window. But this monster right here will try and break out the rear windshield. So um, I'm going to set the bash guard in place, and I'll pull this up and show you how it goes. So first off, we'll do bash guard. And like I said, this is just gonna slip right down behind the, the front most tie downs. There's lower hooks. And so that basically sits right there. The ATV will push right up against it. And I'll show you how to load that ATV in one second here. There we go. Don't want to run over my tie downs. Here goes. Lined up good. And that was easy as long as you're lined up right. If you're not lined up right, that's a problem. And I've already got one of the front ratchet straps hooked at the bottom. I will hook it at the top. Actually, it's still hooked. There we go. And I'll do the same on the other side and monkey around and get two in the back, which basically hook on and pull down and catch the, uh, the rearmost uh, set of hooks. But that's really all there is to it. Um, the rear tailgate's got plenty of capacity to hold what little weight is on it. Most of the weight is farther forward over the engine. And like I said, the smaller, I've got a 300. My 300 would be up to about here and it wouldn't even be touching the bash guard, and that's a lot easier to deal with. But on occasion, I do uh, 
haul the King Quad 750, and it's just a lot easier than hauling my flatbed trailer, which is actually sitting out here in the yard. I've got a two-place trailer uh, that I pull, and actually tomorrow we're going riding. I'll probably put a mid-size ATV in here. I'll put this big guy on the flatbed, and I've got a small 90 for one of the grandkids that'll go on there, and this pulls it fine. You know, in, in total, with trailer and the three quads, we're about 3,000 pounds, and this thing is rated for up to 5,000 pounds, so uh, no problem at all. But that's how you do it. Uh, but as I said before, exercise caution. You can never be too safe in making sure that you're chained off or you, you can use ratchet straps to, uh, to pull these forward and down. You just don't want these slipping out no matter what you're using, uh, and you should be fine. So thanks for watching, and uh, there's more to come. Uh, I've got car reviews, ATV reviews, so please like and subscribe, and there'll be lots more coming over the next couple weeks and over the summer. So uh, I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.